वॉट इज डिजिटल एलिवेशन मॉडल डीईएम नाउ इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री वर्ड्स डिजिटल मीन्स वी कैन वर्क इट ऑन कंप्यूटर और इन डिजिटल डिवाइस एलिवेशन मीन्स हाइट दैट इज द टू पॉइंट्स द डिफरेंस ऑफ हाइट यू कैन से एलिवेशन एंड द मॉडल दैट इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग सर्टेन थिंग which in in the form of which is actual actually and you are representing it so this is dm is a digital representation of a ground surface topography or terrain that is whatever you see naturally geographically if you are able to represent it in certain manner realistically that is called dem so digital elevation model is a representation of the bare ground that is bare earth see our earth consist of uh, trees we have man made objects we have natural objects so we are talking about dm dm as just bare ground nothing else over it so this bare ground topographic surface of the earth excluding everything like trees building or any other object so there are two types of dms one is the digital terrain model and one is the digital surface model normally people call dm as dtm because dtm is all about the topology or the topography the bare earth but when we include the trees the buildings the objects which are there actually what you see we combine the topography with actual objects that is called the digital surface model so what are the sources of a digital elevation model we can make digital model in different ways we can get dm models in different ways that is just assume that you have a rectangular grid and this rectangular grid every cell has a height value has an elevation value how to get this elevation value so mainly the sources will give us the height value so whenever we get multiple height value we can do the interpolation and then we can find or we can conceive and represent a curved surface a geometrical surface which is which is actually the mimicking the earth surface we also have a tin triangular irregular network in which every triangle is representing the equal height this is one more representation of dm so from all where we can get the dm the first one is quite cumbersome but it is the most popular widely used today also that is the ground surveys that is if you are really interested in some place the area will be less you can cover but the points will be quite accurate ground surveys the second way to get the height or elevation or dm is the manual photogrammetric stereo method photogrammetry is calculation from the photo measurement from the photo so whenever we take this aerial photography the area which is uh, which is say common now same point on two different uh, uh, images we can find out dif difference height of difference using the parallax method then third one is the automatic topographic extraction from images there are methods there are technologies there are algorithms where we can extract from satellite images and aerial photograph directly the automatic topographic extraction that we can this we can do there is one more way this is to digitize from existing topographic contour map previously people used to keep it on the board and do it using the actual you know digital device but now we have the you know acri rgis quantum gis um, map info and gvsig there are so many software you can easily you can do it using computer so we have good software to do it then we have the laser scanning this is coming from lidar lidar is light detection and ranging so this laser scanning is done using a you know a fly and that fly will have a laser and that that laser the point it goes and comes the different uh, you know points where it it uh, re reflects from the ground we get a proper proper shape we get a height 
and then we can make, make a shape okay so this this is the model we could make mathematical or geographical model using these points then the final one is the this is very important you know this is a radar interferometry so we have for example srtm data that is shuttle radar this uh, topography mission here the the different uh, phases of different uh, waves the difference of the phase will give you the height between two points and this this height can be used to make a dm what are the uses of digital elevation model so digital elevation model because you get the height you get the actual actual topography actual uh, scenario of the world so you can find out the slope aspect hill shade view shade these are just few of them uh, let me tell you what is a slope slope is nothing but the gradient of height that is change of height that is the measure of change in elevation that is this is the elevation from one point and you know declination from the other point other point so slope is nothing but the steepness or the degree of incline of a surface it is a steepness or degree of incline of a surface or easily you can say slope is the measure of change in elevation then we have the aspect now this slope can be in any direction for example when you take the angle you always take the bearing as a mode that is in which direction it is similarly here the slope is in which direction that is you have north south east west so the slope this slope which i showed can be in any direction so what is the direction what is the orientation of the slope so this aspect is is a measure clockwise in degrees from 0 to 360 degree zero being the north facing and this this is our north is south east north east south west like this you know 90 90 degree so this is aspect is just the direction or orientation of the slope and hill shading and uh, view shading both thing will talk hill shading is a uh, illuminator that is a sun uh, this is uh, you know emulated that if this is the sun which all area will be lit and which all area will be shaded so this is the hill shade but a uh, view shade that if a person is standing how far he can see what all places he cannot see this is also the view shade analysis this all can be done using dm now let me show you here this is the sun okay now you see this all area is illuminated by sun this slope this slope is illuminated so this is the uh, the up, other side is hill shade this also is hill shade because this area the sunlight is you are not getting and similarly if you are standing there the places which you cannot see is called the view shed that is you cannot uh, see that area this is the very important aspect of dm